before we cut your first design, what I'd like to do is kind of go over the steps to give an overall view of the process of how the Craft Robo works with the software. The first step we'll take is we'll load the material. Now what we'll do is we'll take an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and then place it on the carrier sheet and then take the carrier sheet and load it into the Craft Robo. Next we'll open up RoboMaster and we'll create a simple design perhaps with some text or lettering. Next we'll send it to the plotter controller and this is where we can make sure that the cut settings are correct before we send it to the cutter. And then finally we'll send it to the Craft Robo and we'll actually watch us cut out our first design. Well let's go on to loading the material. To load the sheet of paper onto the carrier sheet, first pull out the carrier sheet or mat. Then remove the cover sheet. By leaving the edges it will make it easier to place the paper onto the carrier sheet. One of the things I want to point out before we put the paper on is this large arrow. This shows the direction the carry sheet should be facing when loading it into the Craft Robo. You'll also notice these brackets on the front corners. These are where the front edge of the paper sh should be aligned against when loading the paper. So in other words, the two front edges should be up against those two brackets. Now I have found the best way to do this is to take one corner of the front edges and align it to the bracket and then take the side line going along the side here and align the paper that way. This is the reason I had you keep the edges when removing the cover sheet because it gives you greater freedom so you're not having to deal with the paper attaching itself to the, the adhesive on the carrier sheet. Once aligned, rest the sheet onto the carrier sheet and then smooth it down. Next, take the carrier sheet with the paper attached and place the front edge as we talked about with a large arrow and feed it into the craft robo. Now what you want to do is press it against these white wheels, these driver wheels. Then on the control panel of the craft robo press the enter key. Now the craft robo will automatically load the media at this point. One caution here is when you want to remove the sheet never pull the media out of the device. This could cause damage to the unit. What you want to do is press enter again and that will unload it. And that's it for loading the material. Now that we've got the media loaded, let's go ahead and open RoboMaster. I'm going to start a new design, so I'll click on File and then New. Here I'm going to set the document size to letter and I've already got it set to landscape. Now sometimes this will default to portrait, so if you want to click on landscape now. And then I'll go ahead and click OK and this will bring up my drawing. Now I'm not going to go into every detail about RoboMaster here. In fact what's to be covered will be very minimal. All we're trying to do is get it set up to where it actually sends a job to the cutter. The other features will be explained in detail in this segment more about RoboMaster. But let me cover a few items though just so you can get familiar with what I'm talking about. Now that we have a new drawing let me explain the drawing area here. There are several borders here that I want to point out. On the drawing border or area, this black line here, this represents the print area based on your printer size. So it actually goes to your printer driver, finds out what size your printer can handle. That's the black inner line here. The other line, the red line, actually represents the Craft Robo cut area. As I mentioned, this will all be covered in detail later. Suffice to say for right now, let's just turn off the print area. This is done by clicking on view and then making sure that print area is unselected or unchecked. And there we go. Now we've just got the cut area, which is what I want to deal with or what I want to work with. What I want to do first is to create a text with a rounded border around it. So first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the text tool and that brings up this window. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom and not go, go into detail about everything but I'm going to click down here and start typing what I want. In this case I'm going to say I love my craft robo. Click on the font that I want. I guess I want a really fancy one so I'll scroll on down here to Jokeman which is a nice little font and I'll click OK but you've got different 
settings here like font size and if you want to play around with these you can while we're doing this uh, maybe you want to set the font size a little higher a little lower whatever but uh, you can do it now it gives you two font sizes it gives you the font size in a point size and it gives you the font size in the actual inch size so just know that that height is the font size in inches and then we'll go ahead and click OK and there's my text so I'll go ahead and click right here and let me draw the rectangle around it the rectangle with rounded corners for that I'll click on my rounded rectangle tool and I'll draw my rectangle and there it is thank you for watching for more information please contact us today